What's up guys? It is me Sam. I'm back for a little quick intro for this video. Uh, just a little quick disclaimer. So the video I posted before this video, which is going to be the Bass Love Coontail video, we actually stumble upon a school of crappies and trees. And so it didn't claim to me that I should probably do a little intro and split it up to two videos. It didn't come to me, so you know what, whatever. Uh, I decided to do two videos, separate them two, and hopefully I can at least show you a little bit, a little short film of how we crappie fish for these trees. And that when every, anytime you go crap bass fishing, you gotta bring your crappie gear. You, you always gotta have it with you, and you always gotta bring a cooler, because if you wanna bring crappie home, you gotta have a cooler. Uh, me and Peter I end up throwing our drinks out of our cooler and throwing our crappies in there. But uh, enjoy the video. It's it's pretty cool to pretty to be able to see crappies that stacked in a small little tree. We weren't fishing a huge tree. I mean, it was like the only tree that was overhanging the lake, and all the crappies were there. We checked a few other trees, but they were just nothing to the caliber of this one. So other than that, uh, enjoy the video. This one? Yeah. Small. What? I got all those sunnies in there. All oh, those are carp in there. I'll bring him home. <gasps> Dude, there's crappies down there. Really? I got my crappies down. They're good. Let me, let me make sure there's a lot. Are they big? This one's like at least nine. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, look at all those bass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where did he go? Is it? I'm trying to see if I can find this. These crappies. I, I literally saw his head come up and look at my freaking lure. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my gosh, they're, they're stacking there. Are they? There you go. Oh, that's a giant crappie. How big? Like you serious? <laughs> Where? Break. Where is he? He's like way in there. Are you serious? Yeah. What's oh, a big sunny? Oh my gosh. Is that a sunny or is that a crappie? <laughs> oh, it's a crappie. That's a big crappie too. That's oh, a rock bass. What the freak? <laughs> oh. The color of. Uh... Oh my gosh. I'm staring at a golden tail. Is that crappie? Yeah. Oh, you got to <laughs> This is so hard, dude. What the heck? Yep. Should we just get off? I'm gonna get out, dude. <laughs> we're so dumb. Can't believe we're doing this. 
Oh, yep. Thought you, yeah. Oh, you got you to swing around over there. <laughs> Why'd you get out so early? Bring the... Make sure the canoe is locked in place. <laughs> yeah, they're over here too. Oh my gosh, dude, there's like hundreds of them in here. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep, they want to chase it. I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh my gosh, dude, these are like head injuries. <laughs> See a few. No. Is that a good one? Yeah, it was like a ten and a half. Freaking sunny. Never mind, that's a crappie. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see how I caught that? Oh my gosh, I'm salty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I basically figure ate it. <laughs> I think it might be, as long as I don't lose it here. This was pretty good. Uh, yeah, he's nine and a half. You go nine and a half? You salty about these fish? Later, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. Holy crap, there's like six of them looking at me. Six of them looking at my lure. One of these bigger. My second one might be actually bigger. Wow, they're about the same size.
What's up guys? So, oh, let me wipe that off. So me and Peter stumbled upon this gorgeous tree here. And right behind me, it drops down pretty quick. Uh, and this is probably like four or five feet right here. And then right behind me, it gets down to 10, 15 pretty quick. But this gorgeous tree sits right on the end of that drop and it is just loaded with crappies. Crappies from eight to 11 inches is pretty common in there. We did see a few 12, 13, and Peter say, claims he saw a 14 incher, but they're loaded in there. Uh, so Peter and I were just, we kind of, we got off the canoe. We put the anchor down and we crawled through the back over there. Peter's in there right now, in the middle there. I was kind of on the outside on the out, other side. We were just flipping a little power bait minnow with a little jig head and just shaking in front of them, slowly penduling them back. Uh, oh my gosh. Pretty much. What? There's a four pound bass right here. You serious? Yep, and I'm getting a video of him. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Four pound bass. Bro, he's staring at the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so freaking cool. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> all right well that's what we get a good shot of that um but other than that it's been pretty it's a pretty tough bite we had to come had to fish for like half our limit and then came back like an hour and a half or two later to get the rest of our limit so there's 20 fish in this cooler right now 20 fish this was supposed to hold all of our drinks but we threw them out and say whatever because there's ice in this cooler keep the fish nice and cool <sighs> but per, it was pretty tough to catch these crappies i never worked so hard before to catch crappies in my life like open water wise <sighs> but you know what it is what it is i think it's i think it's time to go back bass fishing <sighs> get some nice bow nice bass maybe catch myself a smallie so i don't know see you guys in a sec here Thank you. 